I mean, I was rejected by every theater owner. For Lombardi, because I was, you know, they would rather have Julia Roberts play Vince Lombardi. She did do it in regional theater. In Miami, in Miami, you know. The playwrights is where it all starts. And and we all, just to say, yeah. oh, we don't give the audiences enough credit. I don't think producers end up giving the audiences enough credit. I think that if producers are, are instructing an audience that that a star is the only way this this thing is going to float, then the audiences over time expect that that's the only thing that's going to happen. And I think that time and time again, it's incredibly uh, you know hopeful to see shows like August Osage County go up. Audiences are smart. When the play is good, you know it. When you're sitting in an audience and you feel something real happening on the stage, it doesn't matter how many times you've seen that person uh, you know 30 feet big on a, on a film screen. Because something immediate happens in the theater. You know, I think people... And that's true, but that's true. But when you're writing a check for $750,000... Exactly, want... You know, but I've also been in plays with really bad directors. Yeah. yeah. Where uh, they didn't care why you did anything, and they didn't even know why you were doing it. And they didn't know how to get you to the right place. But now, I think I've, I'm, I'm working with the best director I've ever had in the theater. I think Anna Shapiro creates a very safe environment. And that feeling of being on the stage, you know, it's a Broadway stage, which is, is for me, growing up in Brooklyn, it's a dream come true. You know, it, it really, really is, I think, the first dream come true for me in my career. And I've been doing it for a long time. But um, there's this huge stage, and Anna's created a very intimate space on that stage, her and Todd, who are the, the set director. So I feel really safe up there. I feel really safe with Chris and, and Bobby, and I, and I feel really safe in, in all of my scenes. I don't feel, I don't, I don't realize, I don't feel that there's 1,100 people out there, which is incredible. I feel the energy. We're waiting for Snooki the musical. <laughs> I think anybody should be given a shot. I think the hubris of thinking that because you're a huge movie star that you're going to walk on stage and be able to have that same sort of magnetism and attraction to the audience is certainly not true, but I don't think anybody should be excluded from the club because they happen to be a movie star. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, the ideal world would be the best man for the best job or the best woman for the best job, and that would be the ideal world, but it, it doesn't work that way. But the, the closer you can come to that, where you can allow movie stars who have some ability to come on stage and then you cast the rest, you fill up the rest of the cast of the, of the, of the play with real talent, I mean, then you're giving both places, you're giving both things a chance, you know? Yeah, well, every show I saw this year, I saw 10 shows and, and every actor and every show and every role were just fabulous. I mean, I was humbled by the witnessing of the talent in New York. I, I had never seen so many shows in a row and the New York actors were Scaring the shit out of me. <laughs> my, that's what my director said. That's enough. You don't go see anymore. <laughs> they were just beautiful performers, and they weren't necessarily marquee names. They were just really great.